Oh no, I'm down to my last new Stephen King book that they have at the library. It's also fairly thick, but, uh, what was it? Insomnia was even thicker, and as was the Institute, so it'll probably only last me a couple days, like those did. That one later, it didn't even last me a day. You know, I don't think I can read them so fast because I'm super smart or something. I just think Stephen King has a really good writing style that makes for easy reading. Now, a few of his books, like Salem's Lot and Pet Cemetery, are not like that, and I didn't like them that much for that reason. But man, just sit down, read a Stephen King book, breeze right on through it, and it's a good story. You know, I'll tell you, one of the things about the determinism of the universe is, really, it makes things a little boring. Uh, you know, I don't really bother talking with people because, like, I know how any conversation is going to go because I've had enough conversations with people. Like, like, I can make small talk with people pretty well, but discussing any serious matter is off the table because people already think silly things. And, like, I know how they'll defend it and I know it's a waste of time. So, most of my thoughts I just keep to myself. Like... I will say my parents, I mean, they prepared me pretty well for life, when I think about it. The thing is, if your parents don't ever give you any approval, then you don't really do things for approval. You do things for your own reasons. And if you're going to do things for your own reasons, like, you try arbitrary things, but then eventually you just have to hone it down and do things for absolute reasons, if you want to have any mental peace. And it's taken me a while to get there, but I do. You know, this God stuff... Like, man, it's weird, and I'm tired of it, but at the same time, like, well, what other options do I have? Like, most of the things people want are fucking silly, and it's just because other people want them, and they're going to make faces at them. If that shit doesn't work on me, and it doesn't, then, well, I mean, I can only do, like, just kind of enjoy life as much as I can, and I actually do enjoy life kind of a lot, all things considered. And also work on my god shit. But now most of my heavy duty god shit's done, so just get that relaxing job at McDonald's with that SSI and low income housing and just kinda, I don't know, watch Netflix and shit. You know, actually now that I think about it, my dad reminds me a lot of a woman. Just like, not under understanding the principles of things, but changing the topic, trying to confuse me. Uh, you know, and use emotional prods. But then again, that's, a, that's why it's hard to hold on to a woman. Like, women like to argue, and they always lose. Like, my dad could only win an argument with me as a child because he could just shout me down, and I'd listen because I was a good child. But it's like, if I'm on some sort of level playing field with somebody who uses that tactic on me, they just eventually explode and go away. So I'll probably be single the rest of my life. Uh, again, you know, that's why I wanted to marry that French girl, because, like, hey, it looked like she wouldn't do that, and therefore I could just pump her full of babies, make her happy the rest of her life, really give me something meaningful to do for the next 40 years or so, you know, more so than watching Netflix, but, you know, realistically, I mean, that's okay. Probably die of high blood pressure. That, that's just assuming this whole God thing doesn't pan out for me. I don't know, I don't have an explanation for that tooth thing, though kind of says that the god shit is going to pan out for me. You know, one of the annoying things about being me is that even though, like, somebody who's even been to grade school should know that the number of people who think things has no bearing on the actual truth of it. So I find that I'm, I've spent my life fighting the world. Like with that stuff about the, uh, again, about the getting ahead. It, it's just, it's, it's so simple. Like, People who care more about grubbing for power because they want to be better than other people and have control over other people, those aren't good people. Because they care less about, like, contributing than their own sick, grubby emotions. And so, you know, I, I can't control anybody but myself. All I can do is the right thing. So trying... Now, a person might be like, well, Ray, if you don't get ahead and get promoted, then you won't get a woman. And it's like, well, that's sort of bad faith, though. 
I, I won't go through the whole thing, but it's like I think things through. I'm sure, I'm sure I've made videos before why that doesn't work. It's the same basic, it's the basic principle of like, uh, you don't want a woman who's a money-grubbing whore. And so, you shouldn't make a lot of money unless you want real love. Or, or if you want real love. Now, if you're okay with not having real love, then I guess go ahead and do that. But, but it's like, it's, it's, it's nonsensical to me because it's like, well, I mean, then you're, you're, it's like, just why? <sighs> Like, you're getting nothing, and then use that to get something else that's also nothing, and then you've expended a lot of energy to get nothing, and the nothing that the nothing buys... <sighs> I don't know. It's like, it's rough being me, but at least, like, you know, I'm doing worthwhile things with my energy. Like, if I'm working hard at my job, then my job is objectively getting done. It always is. It may not be, like, in a managerial position, but, like, whatever it is, it's getting done, and it's getting done well, and I can feel good about it. You know, I go home, vape some Delta 8, watch some Netflix, feeling good about the honest day's work that I've put in, instead of going home and wondering if anything I have in life is real or worthwhile. And the thing is, even if all of the God stuff is delusions, that doesn't actually change the principle of it, because, well, if I'm given a chance to make the world a better place, and it involves doing a bunch of crazy shit that nobody understands, then, I mean, I'm, I'm really on a hero's journey here, and have been for quite a while, and it involves a lot of fucking hardship, and the fact that I'm not even sure that it's real, that just makes me that much of a great person for doing it. Like, if I had some assurance, like, absolute assurance that it would pay off, like, it would make it that much less heroic. It's like, oh, well, I mean, I don't see anything else that's going to save this world, so even if I'm crazy, at least I'm doing something that might have a chance of panning out. As opposed to just going along with the fakery and the nonsense. Other people can deceive themselves, and, like, some somehow, except... They also can't. That's why I upset people who are really fake. They're like, oh, Ray's resisting the pressure. Now I'm aware that it's possible to resist the pressure, and part of my brain is trying to tell me that I buckled under the pressure, and I didn't really want the things I want. Man, I don't have a whole support group telling me I'm right, you know, because this guy's not playing ball. That's what makes my life rough. I mean, really, my problem is just the same as it's always been. And it's like, well, what are the principles involved here? And let me just behave in a way that makes sense with that. It, there's that. And then when I was younger, I'd explore things because like, well, you know, the right thing to do is not assume that everybody's just completely full of shit on stuff. Try things out. But no, no, it's, it's, it's pretty much what I expected. Yeah, I won't text my dad. I mean, the thing is... Anybody who's ever met me could tell it would have been very easy for me to get good grades. But the obvious corollary to that is it would have been even easier for my mom and dad to express approval if I got good grades. In fact, they were defective to not do so. So, hey man, I'm not going to take one more second of you looking down on me. Not one. And that's that. That's more than fair.